Hi guys, this is for my Aries. And this is going to be from the 20th to the 28th of February. I'm just going to take it all the way through, okay? The cards that I'm going to be using are going to be my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'm going to use tarot with keywords. I have put an email address in the description if you would like to contact me, it's there. So Aries, this is going to be for you. The Ten of Cups, Past Energy, Abundance, the Justice card, Balance, the King of Pentacles, this is about money. This could be an energy within your environment. It could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Or it could be you having or making a move on a business idea. The Eight of Pentacles, you're manifesting it. Oh, the Prince of Cups, what are you manifesting, huh? little sexy time the four of cups but you're in your head about it that's like passion you know why are you in your head the magician you have all the tools you need to succeed don't let anyone tell you differently the Five of Swords, however, you feel stuck. Maybe there's some kind of decision you need to make. The King of Cups, this is a water energy. This is, um, could be you going in, balancing your emotions. Could be you, maybe you were a little emotional at some point and um, now you're balancing your emotions actually working on them the kings are the action the queens are the thoughtful thinkers the thoughtful ones um or this could be an energy within your environment which could be a pisces scorpio or a cancer so let's see what the ten of cups is The Knight of Pentacles. You're working hard at something, something that's giving you abundance, past energy. Then the Eight of Cups. So along with that, maybe you were making some money so you can win someone over. Because here you are, the Knight of Cups. You're very creative, very romantic and charming. Are you about to propose to someone? And the world. Something will come to completion. You will feel accomplished. Or you might even go on a trip. Whatever it is, your efforts are being noticed. And you will soon reap the rewards. Mm. 
Maybe it has to do with something legal. Oh, come on. The justice card. Something big is happening soon. It says um, um, the world card says something big is happening soon. A marriage, birth, new job, or something similar. So the justice card. The four of swords. You got to do some meditation and some thinking. Mm, planning for the future. The two of pentacles. You got a lot of things to do, but you're balancing them just right. You're balancing them. The page of wands. You got some inspirational ideas. <clears throat> you're gonna get some messages and some information. It'll give it'll give you some excitement and freedom. If this is a legal matter, it may go in your favor, but it's a possibility it could go either way, okay? Just do some thinking and see where it leads you. The King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles keeps you up at night. The Nine of Swords gives you anxiety, worry, and depression. You feel a lot of fear. You might need to ask some people with some help. Share your trauma. You know, you might help other people. But right now, you're being blinded by these negative thoughts, this fear and anxiety that you're going through. You need to let it go. Well, this is past energy, so hopefully you already let it go. Hopefully you did. And here's the four of pentacles. <clears throat> now, the four of pentacles could be balanced. So maybe you have found your balance and you did take care of this. Um, you did take care of the um, situation. <laughs> Excuse me. And you're learning to save some money now. Things might be a little bit tight. So let's see what the Eight of Pentacles is bringing you. Because you're manifesting money. Maybe after this case. Got the King of Swords here. This is a, um, air energy. This is a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, the King of Swords is showing you that you're in command of your truth and you stand to present yourself with confidence and conviction. Others respect you and pay close attention to what you have to say. The appearance of this card may also suggest that you need to mentor perhaps a financial, you need a mentor or perhaps a financial advisor or a lawyer. So maybe it is something legal you're going through. And it's with the King of Pentacles because on top of that came the King of Pentacles. And this is, like I said, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This person broke your heart. I got the Three of Swords. So I got the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. This person broke your heart. That's why you're in your head, because it's still ongoing. Why is the Prince of Cups here? The Three of Wands. You're preparing something. You're making progress. Your plans are in motion, and more opportunities are headed your way to maximize your total potential. One second. Sorry about that. My mom called. So anyway, um, as I was saying, to maximize your potential. Oh, where was it? Where was it? 
you have the chance to expand your horizons through travel, study, or business. Reach beyond your comfort zone and doors will open if you stop limiting yourself. And the King of Cups, he showed up here as well. And the Lovers. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Okay, this is what I feel. I feel you're going through a divorce. Um, it's probably really rough and, you know, there's a lot of back and forth. However, um, I do see that there is someone else in the picture. This is a water energy. This is, I'm going to say this, this is going to be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. And the reason I say that is because right above it came the lovers. So where the Prince of Cup, where this passion is concerned, the passion is concerned because of this other person, the Pisces, you know, the water energy, whoever it is, Scorpio or Cancer. So <clears throat> you got the three of wands. So you're planning, you're making progress. The King of Cups and the lovers. This is a deep love. And the four of cups. The four of cups. Well, um, on top of the four of cups, you're in your head still. Um, you're probably like wondering if like, um, is this person going to do the same thing to me? You know? The pain, the ending was painful. The card says you've endured some painful and have, you've endured something painful and have multiple wounds as a result. It's going to take time to heal. You can't change the past. But we can certainly play a role in our future. So don't stay in that past too long. It seems like happiness is on the horizon. All right, heal from that pain. Then here comes the Queen of Cups. So I would say that you are feeling very sensitive and intuitive. You know, that's what the card is about. And you're also probably a very compassionate person. And you try never to react with impatience or anger. Or it could be a Queen of Cups, feminine energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. However it resonates with you. <clears throat> Whatever it is, happiness is coming. Because I got the Sun card. This is positive, happiness, all is well. And you are the magician. You are the magician. So that was, that's current energy now, right now. Only oh, going through a little bit of emotional turmoil. <clears throat> Excuse me. The magician. Six of Pentacles. Well, you are the magician. So financially, you're balanced. Um, giving and receiving. Maybe things will work out in your favor. Keep a positive mindset. The Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, theft, dishonesty, all those things. Now, these are things that you could that you might have experienced in the past. Or the card also says you're sneaking around and you think you've gotten away with it. One misstep and you're going to be caught. Is it worth it? The upright seven of swords may also be an indication that you need to prioritize. Find shortcuts to get through responsibilities efficiently to get more off your plate so you can focus on the bigger picture. So those are the meanings for that card. So however you take it. All right, darlings. So that was the seven of swords. The way I look at that card is like, stop looking over your shoulder and stop thinking that the worst is going to happen, you know, um, because then the worst will happen. You give out 
you get back. Justice. Something will come in your favor. But you have to be very sure of your decisions because it will have lasting effects. If you have endured wrongdoing, this card may mean that relief is coming. However, if you've caused pain, take this as a warning. And an upright justice may also mean that you need to learn the truth about yourself or others, or perhaps some attention is needed for an important decision. So you might need to take a little quiet time and, and settle your mind and try to get things clear. Clear your mind so you can um, see things clearer, clearer. Five of Swords here. You're stuck. But on top of it comes the Nine of Pentacles. The King of Swords. And the Five of Pentacles. So you go back and forth. So the Nine of Pentacles, this is your fruits of your labor. You're going to see that you're, you're going to be reaping your rewards, your benefits of the seeds that you planted or whatever is going on. You know, you may be coming into some money. Um, it's going to be coming fast. You're, you're driven to succeed. It's the Knight of Swords. It's something, a message or something coming in very fast to you. And the Five of Pentacles. This is um, like the mindset of lack. You might have lost some money, I'm not sure. Um, or it could be you just being within in your head, um, thinking that you don't have when all you have to do is look around and see all that you do have. Okay. The King of Cups. King of Cups. On top of the King of Cups came the Ace of Cups. Then the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles. <sighs> the Ace of Cups. Let go of any emotional baggage that may be weighing you down. And start truly living your life, okay? Because you got something new coming in. Something that's going to bring abundance. It could be a new baby. It could be a proposal. It could be marriage. It has to do with love. Then here comes the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> you need to put the past where the past belongs. So I don't mean to just totally forget the past about anything that happened. It doesn't work like that. You go and you heal. You look at your past. You write it down. Just write. Just write little things. And sometimes we have forgotten things. But as we write or as we meditate and we spend quiet time, memories come back. And heal from those traumatic experiences and things that you've done too because you were no angel either. You know, we've all done things. So you need to let Go of your past and you need to heal. What comes around goes around, okay? If you don't heal from it, it's just going to keep coming back. Then the Eight of Pentacles. You're working very hard. The Eight of Pentacles may be telling you to chase after education or going back to school. Or something in that area. Whatever it is you're doing, you're working hard to master it. Know that the dedication you have will pay off in the long run. So that was the Eight of Pentacles. It's up to you. Okay? I love you. And I will see you soon and I will talk to you guys shortly again. Bye.